the greedy man. Once, there lived a sage in Akbar's kingdom. An old lady came to him and said, Please keep my life savings with you until I return. The sage said, I stay away from wealth. Bury them in a corner of my heart. The old lady did so and left. She came back after many months. Then she dug in the place where she had buried the coins. But they had gone. She asked Peebel for help. Peebel whispered a plan. Next day, Peebel went to the sage and said, Please keep these jewels until I return from my cousin's house. Just then, the old lady entered. The sage wanted to impress Peebel and steal the jewels. So he said, Your savings are in the northern corner, lady. Take them. After the old lady had dug out her coins, a servant told Beeble that his cousin had come to visit him. Beeble took the jewels and left. A handful of nuts. Once, Akbar and his courtiers were discussing the qualities of generosity and kindness. Akbar said, The hand of the giver is always above that of the receiver. Everyone in the court pondered over the thought and agreed with him. However, Beeble said, I do not agree with you, Your Majesty. The hand of the giver is not above that of the receiver in all cases. Akbar thought, Beeble is my favorite, but sometimes he thinks he knows too much. Then he asked, Beeble, tell me when the hand of the receiver is above that of the giver. Beeble said, Wait a minute, Your Majesty, and left the court. Soon, he returned with the handful of nuts. He offered them to the emperor and said, The hand of the receiver is above that of the giver when someone offers nuts. Akbar smiled. He thought, Birbal has extraordinary presence of mind. The Emperor's Touch one day, an old lady visited Birbal. She was in tears. Birbal asked, What happened? The old lady said, I had a son who died in battle and I am all alone. Birbal wiped her tears and said, do you have anything to give the emperor? The old lady said, Yes, my son's sword. Beeble said, Give it to the emperor. He will surely give you something. The old lady met Akbar and said, 
Your Majesty, my son is no more. I have brought his sword to you, so that it may be used again. Akbar said, "The sword is rusted. It is useless." He ordered the servant to give the lady a few coins. Birbal said, "Your Majesty, I have heard everything turns into gold with your touch. Why not this sword?" Akbar asked his servants to weigh the sword and gave the old lady gold coins equal to its weight. The old lady was happy. The reversed years. One evening, Akbar and Birbal were walking along the banks of the Yamuna. Akbar loved the sound of the flowing river. He told Birbal, "Listen to the river, Birbal. I feel it is crying. Can you tell me why it is crying?" Birbal stared at the river for a while. He thought, "This is a strange question, but I must give a sensible answer." Then he said, "Your Majesty, the mountain is the father of the river. The sea is her husband. When the river flows down from the mountain, she is sad to leave her father behind to meet her husband. She must flow on and she cannot stop even though she loves her father." That's why she is always crying. Akbar marveled at the thought and said, "How beautiful, Birbal. Here, take this bracelet as a reward." Birbal was happy that his answer had pleased Akbar. Thanks for watching. Do like Share Subscribe to Sahil Book House